when we know ourselves well, we shall become change makers. This is my first point. I have been using this phrase very often from the beginning of this year in most of the services I conducted and discussions I participated in. We are change makers. When we know ourselves well, we shall become change makers. We shall dream dreams and see visions to change the situations, to change the world as God wants. Jacob dreams bigger dreams. In fact, he became Israel, God's chosen people. Jacob saw bigger visions for enhancing God's will. In his dream, he realized that he is called by God to be a change maker. I shall name this place Bethel, the house of God. And God is indeed in this place, and I did not know. One of the issues found um, in, of course, ecumenism in the Pacific and, of course, at PTC that is hindering ecumenism is not so much ethnic diversity, but rather personal attitude. Some of us are not willing to change our attitude to fit in, in order to freely relate to the other who is different, and to appreciate and celebrate what others bring to the ecumenical mat, such as their cultures. This is the challenge of PTC. PTC, as the Kaselebo was speaking about today, is a culture that makes change, that produces change makers for the Pacific. This is why induction is very important for you, my brothers and sisters. Because, because it is not just about inducting you to a post or initiating you to a position. Inducting is also about going through a process of transition, of adapting and adjusting of self-assessment and being open to be, to be disturbed and to be transformed.